Hi there, this is Sarah Neighbor with Sarah Loves to Stamp, and today I'm bringing you kind of a fun little video. Um, this is a video on how to make my number one bestseller when I do craft fairs. Um, and it's gonna be a little like post-it note stand. It's very cute. So um, let's get started. Um, the first thing I start with is a three and a half by five inch um, acrylic photo frame, and you can get these. I get mine at the dollar store usually. Um, you can get a four by six, but there's gonna be a lot more space around like where your post-it notes are, and I just don't like it as well. And then you need a piece of designer series paper cut to three and a half by five and you will want to like maybe measure yours or try it out. Um, sometimes like I definitely don't cut any wider than three and a half but sometimes I cut a hair longer than five and then if it doesn't fit in there then I can trim it down. But you want it to fit in there really nicely and not to have big gaps at the top and bottom. Um, this paper is from the Eastern Elegance Designer Series Paper Pack. I love 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 it. So um, anyway so I went ahead and put that in my frame and um, nothing special about that so far. And then the next part, um, I take ribbon, coordinating ribbon, and this is crushed curry ribbon. Crushed curry is one of the colors in this designer series paper. And I tie it around, I should show you this on the back, there's going to be a place where the, um, where the acrylic photo frame ends and there'll be about an inch to the top. Um, and so if, if you don't put ribbon around it, you can see how the paper is kind of sagging down a little bit right there. And when you actually go to write on this, because that's the whole point of it, see it kind of bends a little more. So you want to tie your ribbon so it's around that area um, towards the top so it ties that all together and makes it a little bit sturdier. So, um, and you can use any ribbon, it doesn't matter. Um, I did a variety of these and maybe I'll take a picture um, at my craft show tomorrow. And um, I also have a video on how to tie a flat knot. Um, I will link to that because I am not going to explain that here um, in detail. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put that through. There we go. Sorry, if you're wondering what I was doing, my tail wasn't going to qu quite be long enough. So that's what I was doing. And then I flip the back one up a little bit. Flip it over, and, um, over to the other side. And then pull it down so it's straight. And then stick this tail through if I can get it to go through. <laughs> I have to fish in there for it. There we go. Okay, and then I just start to pull that, hold it, and pull a lot with the left, and then pull them both. There we go, that looks nice. Okay, and then I kind of look on the back and I kind of adjust it so that it's straight. Okay, there we go. And then you can trim it off. So you wanna use your really good sharp scissors here, and I'll probably move the knot all the way to this side um, so that I'm able to have plenty of room. And I usually cut mine pretty short because we're gonna put a little, the initial here in a second on there. So I usually cut mine pretty short, that looks good. Oh, I love this ribbon and this paper together, it makes me smile. Okay, and then because this is something that's going to be like used on somebody's desk, I do go ahead and burn the ends of it. So I just pull them up and be very careful when you do this but you're just gonna run it through the blue part of the flame because it's just gonna seal that edge. I'm certainly not an expert, but I do see that this one, like, one part of it I sealed a little farther. I think that's all right. Okay, so there's that. And it shouldn't get too hot if you just run it through there. And then um, the next part is we're gonna, oh, I guess the next part is actually sticking the, um, the post-it notes on there. I already put some sticky strip on mine, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel those off. There we go, there's one. And I put it on all the sides. Um, these are, you know, you they are refillable because once you're done with it, um, even if this sheet doesn't come off the back of it, it doesn't really matter. You just stick another set of post-its on top of it and go with it. Sorry, my fingernails are shorter than normal. Okay, I just saw somebody do a pretty sweet trick. I'm gonna try it. Oops, oops. There we go. Yeah, nice. That worked out way better for me. Okay, and I'm going to put one more strip across here. I am not sure if it's necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then you can kind of see how I put the adhesive on. Okay, so I'm just going to put one more strip across the center here. Just the middle part, and then I get to where I fold it over, and then I use my scissors and go ahead and cut this off. Oops! <laughs> now everything is stuck together with sticky strip. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. 
Let's get that off of there. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I usually um, look at this. And these are actually pattern post-it notes. They're kind of fancy. I didn't really intend on buying pattern post-it notes that were fancy, but such is life. And then I just try and get kind of an even border around the left and the right edge and the bottom as well. Oops. And if you need to pull your ribbon out of there, obviously do that. There we are. Oh, that's super cute. And that'd be really cute just like that. Um, but I, I take my stamps to my, um, to the actual craft fairs and personalize them for people because I, I know a lot of people give them as gifts. Um, so I use three punches and I do this part ahead of time. If you're also somebody who does craft fairs. Okay. There's that one. And that's the scallop circle punch, the smallest one. Um, well, I guess not the smallest one anymore. We have a smaller one now. We have the 7 8 inch. I can't remember what inch that one is, but I'll put it up on the screen. And then this is the 1 and 3 8 inch punch. And then I always do my initial with the 1 and a quarter inch punch. Of course, because I'm stamping, I'm going to stamp first and then punch. This is the Costa Cabana ink pad set. And then I'm going to use the Morning Post alphabet. I'm using S. I'm doing my own initial today. Um, but, like I said, you can personalize it for anybody. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm just inking that up with the Coastal Cabana. Press straight down. Ooh, looks like my Coastal Cabana needs to be re a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip over my punch. And line that up inside of there. Oh, that's cute. I like it a lot. Alright. And again, I used um, Coastal Cabana and Crushed Curry um, cardstock here. And then I'm just going to stick these together with snail. You could also use the multipurpose glue. Doesn't matter. If you want some extra dimension, you can use dimensionals under all of this. There's a little notch right there. There we go. Just kind of smoothed it under with my fingernail. And then get that in the center. Sometimes I use liking, I, I use liking, I like using uh, the multipurpose liquid glue for that because it does um, give you a little bit of time to slide it around and then I do like to put one of the scalps up and one down so when I go to do this part I want to look at it and kind of get it lined up how I want it yeah that looks nice okay and then I use a couple dimensionals man I have scissors all over the place over here it's like five pairs of scissors that's just not necessary and then I put one oh great now it turned um bottom would be there that one there we go and one at the top, which will be up there. And we're just going to pop this on there and we're done. And this makes a great little gift. You can pop it in a little box. Um, the great thing is there's lots of other things you can make. Um, because it's designer series paper, there's lots of other things you can make with designer series paper that would also match. Um, it would be really cute. So oh, I just love how that looks. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I hope you love it too. And... Um, yeah, if you do, give it a thumbs up on this video. And if you'd like to see more of this type of video, um, I'm happy to make more of this type of thing, too. Um, yeah, I thought it was really fun, and I, I hope you loved how it turned out. I really do. So, anyway, you guys have a great day, and, um, yeah, head on over to my blog to see more projects like this. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go ahead and sign up for my mailing list over there on my blog while you're at it. Um, that'll get, make sure you get all of my information and that you see everything that I'm coming out with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.